SpaceX is only one step away from reaching the next Starship flight. According to Elon Musk, the company will not perform any other major rocket testing until launch. The last stepping stone on the path is the FAA's license approval. And this is how the FAA just throws cold water on SpaceX's attempt. Space enthusiasts and spaceflight aficionados worldwide are eagerly anticipating SpaceX's next monumental Starship mission. Set to lift off from South Texas, attempt an orbit around Earth, and end with an ocean landing off the coast of Kauai, Hawaii, the excitement peaked on Tuesday, September 5th, as SpaceX reached a crucial milestone by successfully stacking Starship 25 on top of a super heavy booster number 9 at the Starbase facility in Boca Chica Beach, Texas, marking the beginning of final preparations for the colossal vehicle's second launch attempt. However, it is not yet immediately seeing a launch for now as it awaits its FAA license approval that is still under review. When asked for an update on the progress of this regulatory approval, an FAA spokesman said Wednesday morning that additional information may be provided soon. The SpaceX Starship mishap investigation remains open, the agency stated. The FAA will not authorize another Starship launch until SpaceX implements the corrective actions identified during the mishap investigation and demonstrates compliance with all the regulatory requirements of the license modification process. The FAA previously shared that the launch license application for Starship depends on various requirements being met, including reviews on policy, payload safety, airspace integration, financial responsibility, and environmental impacts. The FAA will make a license determination only after the agency is satisfied SpaceX meets all licensing, safety, and other regulatory requirements, the spokesperson said. Pending the review of this report, the FAA will outline corrective actions necessary for SpaceX to ensure the safety of individuals, property, and wildlife near the South Texas launch site which is enveloped by wetlands and the Gulf of Mexico. The timeline for the FAA's decision on the launch license remains uncertain, but it is not expected to occur before the middle of September. Yep, Starship is one of the most promising spacecraft of this day and age, with the company promising the rocket to bring humans to other planets capable of a massive payload and reusability. However, back in April of this year, Elon Musk admitted that he had doubts about the success of his rocket's first launch, as it may not turn out as what they expected from the rocket. This is exactly what happened last April, as after getting the launch license from the FAA, the company set out for the first launch of the stainless steel spacecraft. Starship saw its demise immediately after launch, as there were already rockets that malfunctioned and refused to ignite as it made its way up, after which the rocket exploded into a fireball four minutes into its its first flight due to a controlled demolition. Massive controversies were faced by Musk and SpaceX, including the environmental effect of its rocket, as well as the mishap that caused its explosion. SpaceX subsequently has built and tested a new water deluge and flame deflector beneath the Starship launch mount. The company has also made a number of changes to the second Starship vehicle. Perhaps the most prominent is the switch to a hot staging strategy in which the upper stage lights its engines before it has fully separated from the first stage booster. That switch which required modifications to Booster 9, including the installation of a heat shield and a vented interstage to protect it from Ship 25's fire. They finally bounced back by acing its static fire test. Those two tests occurred on August 6th and on the 25th, the second one being a marked improvement, as all 33 of Booster 9's Raptors lit up compared to the 29 during the first static fire, according to SpaceX. Musk now claims that it is ready for another launch which awaits its FAA license approval for another test, with the federal authorities still claiming that its investigations will continue. Hopefully, it won't be as long as before. Next up for today's news, Japan just sent two ambitious missions soaring to the heavens on September 6th, a pioneering lunar lander and a powerful X-ray space telescope. A Japanese H-2A rocket carrying the SLIM moon lander and the X-RISM space 
Space Telescope lifted off from Tanegashima Space Center on September 6th. That was about 10 days later than originally planned due to weather delays. Both spacecraft were deployed on schedule sequentially less than an hour after liftoff. And if all goes according to plan, a few months from now, SLIM, or Smart Lander for Investigating Moon, will attempt to pull off Japan's first ever soft lunar landing. A pinpoint touchdown that will pave the way for even more ambitious feats down the road. SLIM is a small spacecraft measuring just 2.4 meters high, 2.7 meters long, and 1.7 meters wide. At liftoff, it tipped the scales at 700 kilograms, but roughly 70% of that weight was propellant. SLIM will take a long, looping, and fuel-efficient route to the moon, finally reaching lunar orbit three to four months from now. It'll then eye the lunar surface for another month or so before attempting a touchdown inside Shioli Crater, a 300-meter impact feature that lies at 13 degrees south latitude on the moon's near side. The probe aims to land within 100 meters of a target point within Shioli Crater, a more precise touchdown than previous lunar landers have attempted. The goal is to demonstrate pinpoint landing tech that could open the moon and other celestial bodies to more extensive exploration. By creating the slim lander, humans will make a qualitative shift towards being a able to land where we want and not just where it's easy to land as had been the case before, JAXA officials wrote in the mission description. By achieving this, it will become possible to land on planets even more resource scarce than the moon. Success by SLIM would therefore be historic. Just four nations have soft landed a probe on the moon to date, including the Soviet Union, the United States, China, and India. India put its name on this exclusive list just last month when its Chandrayaan-3 mission touched down near the lunar south pole. Speaking of the United States, NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission is nearing its final stretch as it closes in on Earth after a seven-year round trip to the asteroid Bennu. The capsule containing the sample is scheduled to make the fiery plunge through the atmosphere on September 24th. The mission Origins, Spectral Interpretation, Resource Identification, Security Regolith Explorer launched back Back in September of 2016, atop a United Launch Alliance Atlas V to begin its journey to the near-Earth asteroid and, after a two-year trip through space, arrived in orbit around Bennu in December of 2018. The goal of the mission was to collect 2.1 ounces of regolith. After the maneuver was completed, the orbiter backed away from Bennu with its sample. It wasn't smooth sailing, though, as the lid for the sample tube did not have a perfect seal and was leaking back out into space. When mission control controllers saw this, they commanded the spacecraft to store the tube in the sample return capsule. Back on the ground in Utah, recovery teams have now run multiple test runs of Recovery Day, including multiple drop simulations from an aircraft and practicing to make sure the sample is handled carefully and not contaminated after landing. Teams will conduct a go-no-go no go poll prior to the sample return capsule's release from the orbiter. And if for some reason a no is given, they won't have a chance to recover the sample until 2025 after a risky trip near the sun. However, once a go is given, the capsule will be released from the orbiter four hours before the scheduled re-entry. The capsule will hit the atmosphere at 27,000 miles per hour, followed by a parachute being deployed and a soft touchdown at 10 miles per hour. The orbiter will perform a maneuver after release so it doesn't enter the atmosphere and will undertake a brand new mission to study the asteroid Apophis. Scientists hope to get a better understanding of how the Earth and solar system formed and a successful sample return will produce a ton of exciting discoveries. And that's all, folks. If you want to support our channel and get access to exclusive content, please consider becoming a patron by clicking the link in the description below. We appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up.